Hey guys, up Sander making a new video for you guys. Uh, this one is more pictures, um, kind of like my uh, how I got scammed six mil video. Anyway, so this is right off the bat, uh, Corel's leather top. I got this right away after um, buying the SGS, so it's quite nice to you know start paying for itself a little bit. Um, excuse my, I don't know, I might talk a little bit awkwardly. I have a bunch of uh, canker sores which I fucking hate. I get them all the time, and it's it's annoying as fuck. But uh, so I'll just have to deal with it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I also got the Guthin set using there, so it's kind of like an updated method to my advanced borrows guide. Um, I don't have to use Blood Blitz anymore, which um, saves a lot of money. Anyway, we got 90 range. I got 89 range a while back from Chins, and uh, using the Cannon in Slayer, it helped um, just over time get me 90, which is nice. You know, it's always nice to have 90 rather than 89. Um, this is kind of interesting. I got a Gorax task. Um, Duradel and a lot of the other Slayer Masters, they have a regular task list. And then they have these super duper ex insanely rare tasks that they can assign. And Gorax are one of them. I have a friend who got 99 Slayer all through Duradel and he had the quest done. He didn't get assigned Gorax once. And here I am at um, 90, 91 Slayer now, I've gotten one Gorax task. They're so rare. It's, you know, one out of multiple hundreds at least. They're just insanely rare tasks, and chances are you'll never see them, but, you know, you might. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely screen, screeny worthy. Um, this is, this is very interesting. I, see that briefcase he's wearing? This is one of the new Treasure Trail rewards that came out, um, on Thursday. I actually, they actually had a forum thread um, where they said suggest new clue rewards, and I suggested, hey, make the Yuri's little brie briefcase thing available as a cosmetic reward. And what do you know? They actually did it in the uh, Q and A live stream. They showed it off, and um, they didn't say this was designed, but this was submitted by Andrew JT62. Unfortunately, they didn't give credit to anyone who uh, submitted reward items. Um, I even tweeted them about this, and they said, yeah, we're only giving credit to the people who suggested actual, like, clue scrolls, like, dig here type of things, not the actual awards. So, unfortunately, I didn't get credit for this, but um, I guess I can take credit myself for it. I am the one who suggested um, having Yuri's briefcase available as a um, reward. Yuri is the guy, by the way, if you do, like, an emote clue and he, he pops up, and uh, talks to you and give you the, gives you the casket. He's also the guy, the double agent, who, um, if you do an emote clue, he'll pop up and start attacking you. So, uh, yeah, that was my suggestion. So, I don't know. I don't. I haven't actually seen the item in game yet. Um, maybe I don't know how much it's worth. I can actually check that now. Let's check it out. It looks like it's a few mil, but yeah, I thought it was just kind of cool that I actually suggested a uh, an item way the way back in May, and they actually put it in the game. So, yeah, taking a little bit of credit for myself. I did suggest that. Anyway, so moving on. Um, oh, by the way, it's a few mil. I don't know if I said that already. Um, some clue rewards. This is before the update. I got a Zamrak page. It finally broke the streak. I had gotten, like, I've gotten probably around 15 Zamrak pages in 07 total. Um, pages are not too rare. They're actually just kind of uncommon. Um, and... I used to get so many Zamrak pages, and you'll see this in my earlier OSRS vids, um, but then I just started getting all these Sarah pages and Guthics pages, and, like, I actually got, like, enough to fill up more books, like, if I needed to, and I filled up my Guthics book just completely by myself. I, I didn't buy any of the pages, I just got them from Clues, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, but then I finally got the Zamrak pages, it's always nice, and at the time, this is like, worth, like, 400 500 k now, because so many people are doing clues, they've dropped quite a bit. Uh, here's 90 Slayer, big uh, big level for me. Uh, I got 97 Slayer pre EOC without you know any of the bonus XP shit, and uh, but I didn't bother getting 99 because I never really got into EOC. But um, 90 Slayer on 07 is a big deal. It takes a long time. It's a big road from 85, uh, but it allows you to do Dark Beasts. Which are pretty cool, and you need to you need to um, use Duradel if you want to get assigned Dark Beast, which is what I do. Um, here was the uh, Black Dragons task. I decided to do the King Black Dragon, and I only had like 17. It took like two trips, but I can tell you that it really wasn't worth it. Uh, his drops are not that great. He drops a double Dragon Hide now, but unfortunately, um, 
those on top of dragon bones. There's not really room for them in your inventory, so it, it's really not anything special. Um, of course, you have a chance of getting the visage, which is half what other dragons is. It's one out of five thousand, whereas all the other dragons, I believe, are one out of ten. Um, and these are all, these drop rates are all on the uh, drop rates V2 thread. Um, you can find that on the forms. The only the only drop rate they don't have on there is borrows, I think. Um, but uh, he also has the chance of dropping the dragon pickaxe, although it's rarer than the other bosses, just because he's not technically in the wilderness. You have to go through the wilderness to get to him, but. Yeah, I mean, it's not really worth killing, and the drop rate for the Dragon Pickaxe, um, I don't know it off the top of my head, but I know it's not anything that's, you know, you're, you're probably not going to get it if you kill like 500 of them even, so I wouldn't bother killing the King Black Dragon, but for a Black Dragon test, you might, you know, might be worth having a little bit of fun. Um, what is going on in this picture? Oh, okay, I b unlocked the uh, Greater Challenge. Um, I had to crop these pictures myself, because when I take pictures, I play on the official client, for old school RuneScape, I just press print screen and I paste it in paint, and that gives you the full resolution of my, you know, 1920 times 1080 monitor. So I have to crop these pictures, and it takes quite a while, and sometimes I forget what I actually crop. But as you see there in the chat box, I unlocked uh, the Greater Challenge, and uh, all that is is that you get more Greater Demons for uh, every Greater Demons task, which is great for me because I do a lot of, do a lot of Zamrak boss, and you'll see in a future video I actually got a really good drop. From the Zamrak boss. Um, here's my first dragon plate legs in 07. It's crazy because I've gotten plenty of dragon plate skirts, but never plate legs. Unfortunately, they're not worth too much anymore. But um, since I don't have Bandos tassets at the moment, I, you know, I like to use them in combination with the torso sometimes. Uh, here's Sarah Bracers from a clue. They're only worth 100k, so nothing special. Um, here was a really interesting picture. I hit a 73 with the Saradome and God Sword. Um, this is possible because, um, first of all, the special attack hits 10% higher, and um, also the Slayer Helmet has been updated to work with special attacks. It will now give the 15% damage boost and the accuracy boost with special attacks, whereas before it was glitched and did not. So you can with 99 strength. I'm also using max strength gear here. You can kind of you can't really see it, but I'm using a torso um, strength ammo just as a switch. I didn't actually use those for the task. Um, I'm on sl slash. I'm 118 out of 99 strength. So um, you can hit quite high. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe I can even hit higher. But 73 was the highest I've seen with the SGS um, from anyone in 07. Here's the D boots. Always nice getting D boots. I actually have. A log. I think I've gotten like 20 something now. Um, not gonna bother checking right now, but you know it looks great on the ground when you see that big red, um, those nice little red pair of boots on the ground. You know you're getting a few hundred k. Um, what's going on here? Oh, big clan chat. Yeah, my clan chat has gotten quite big. The Andrew AJT62 clan chat. Um, so if you guys want to join it, it's actually quite active now. Like I'll just log on after not being on for two days, and there'll be like 15 people on it, which is quite nice. Um, we can have some interesting conversations, and you know we can help each other out and stuff. So the clan chat is Andrew AJT62, as you see here in white. Um, it's not the same as my RuneScape name, so don't type this in. It's Andrew AJT62, as you see on my YouTube name. Um, so yeah, feel free to join. Dagonos. Oh, or no, this is 124 combat. So I'm still currently 124 combat, but that's a pretty nice achievement. This is back when I got 97 defense. I still have to make the 99 defense video and the uh, Bandos Mass video um, from the Bandos Mass that happened. Um, and I also have, I actually have a bunch of videos planned, but I figured I'd make this video first. But yeah, you'll see the 99 defense video coming up soon. Here was, uh, this is hilarious. I got my first Dark Beast task, task from Duradel, and he, he assigned me only 19 of them, which is almost nothing. And I PM my friend like, dude, what the fuck? 19 Dark Beasts, only 19, and what I realized is that, for whatever reason, when they actually designed this back in 07, when Dark Beasts came out, they were a bunch of fucking idiots, and they decided that, like, you can only get 20 Dark Beasts at a time. So luckily in 07, you can actually buy a boosted thing, and uh, I don't know if I have that in here somewhere, but I bought the uh, boosted task for, like, 100 points, and now you get assigned, like, 150 or so, which is much nicer. And I've actually gotten Dark Beast tasks, which is, they're really good tasks. Anyway, here's a good clue, a decent clue reward, I should say. Um, 
Zami Koif and Guthix's kite. This is before the clue update. Unfortunately, they're worth jack shit, but kind of cool to see. Uh, this is really funny. Um, something I do to troll people, when I go to like, say I'm going to like Abyssal Demons, I just show up to someone, I just show up to the spot for the beginning of the task, and if there's someone there, instead of just hopping worlds, I ask, hey, can you hop? Like, just being like a total like, troll, like, I say, can you, like, the guy probably has been here for like half an hour, and I say, can you hop? Even though you were here first and I just got here, can you hop? And people get so angry, and I'm just trolling, and I usually end up hopping anyway. But I did this that I did this to this guy, and um, I got a whip like the second kill, which is really funny because whips are one out of five, twelve drop rate. So getting one like the second kill is really incredible. I think it is the second or third kill because you can see there there's a ashes right behind me, but that could have been the other guy's kill. But uh, yeah, sometimes trolling people pays off. And uh, here's selling that. Um, I have all my whips number numbered. I think I've gotten eight or nine right now. But these are these pictures are cropped, so the original titles are not there. But this is probably my seventh, maybe sixth whip. Uh, nice chunk of change for that. And the abyssal tentacle has actually helped it increase in price. Yeah, here we go. I bought the dark beast thing. Hundred points, definitely worth picking up. Uh, here's a dark beast task. Kind of cool task, like I mentioned, you can cannon, it's very AFK. They have uh, 220 hit points, so you, it, you don't really have to pay much attention. And uh, you just pray melee, and they'll only do damage with magic occasionally, which is their ranged attack, but um, that, yeah, otherwise you can just kind of AFK it. Uh, here's, this is what happens a lot actually now. I actually, people just run in game and they say, hey, I love your videos. You know, aren't you that guy who makes videos? And uh, I run into fans a lot now, you can see the chat. This guy, Play07, um, found me in game. And this happens a few times a week now. If I'm playing a lot, people will recognize me in game. So, like I said, if you guys see me in game, feel free to say hi. It's always nice. Uh, here's a really great drop Kraken Tentacle. And this is when it was actually worth a little bit more than it is now. This is my second Kraken Tentacle in uh, 07. And, uh, yes, yeah, so this is my second Kraken. Sorry about that. This is my second Kraken Tentacle in 07. And the first one was like almost 7 mil. Um, this one isn't quite as much, but it was still actually a nice chunk of change, the uh, 4.5 mil there. Um, really great drop. I think it's the same drop rate as a uh, as a whip, if I'm not mistaken, from the uh, Kraken boss. He also threw in a Dragon Spear, um, which was kind of nice. The funny thing is, I've gotten so many rare drop table drops, like these insanely dumb rare drops, like Rune Spears, uh, Steel Arrows from different things, like Dragon Stones. I've never gotten a Dragon Spear, ever, in all my RuneScape career, so it was kind of nice to get one right here. I mean, of course I could just buy one, but it would be kind of a waste of time. Speaking of rare drop table drops, there's one right there, 100 silver ore. A very rare drop that almost every monster can has a chance of dropping, but you'll rarely see this. Um, it's 100 noted, and uh, it's kind of troll, trolly when you get this from a uh, God of Wars boss. Because you know it's rarer than actually getting a uh, hilt drop or something nice like Bandos Tassets. But you'll see this occasionally. There's another one, Rune Spear, I was just saying. I think that's the fourth one that I've gotten ever in 07, but never a Dragon Spear. But, like, say, example, what I, what I was talking about, say, I'm killing Abyssal Demons here. I'm more likely to get an Abyssal Whip than a Rune Spear, but I got the Rune Spear instead, so. Oh well. Uh, another Dragon Plate Legs, which was kind of nice. Getting more of those now. Uh, another fan, X Ninja X. I think he's in my clown chat now, but he just randomly met me in game. You know, like I said, I do meet people in game now, which is kind of nice. There's another whip. Yep, number seven. Okay, the last one must have been number six. Um, always just feels so good when you see a whip drop on the ground. There's right on top of those ashes. You know, always just feels such a good feeling and rewarding when you're killing abyssal demons and especially if you haven't gotten a whip in a while but I've actually been getting decent luck with them recently uh, this is kinda funny I sold the whip for like what happened was I was selling the whip for sixteen thousand no okay one million and six fifty K and this guy was offering one point six mil and we're like arguing about it like he's like come on man it's just pay just take my 1.6 mil for it i'm like no it's it's 1 mil 650k 
And then while we're arguing, this other guy just shows up and pays me the six, my actual Zybez listing price, which was one mil and six fifty k. And this guy got so pissed off that I didn't sell him it for the lower price because it's all the money he had. And um, I just thought it was funny how angry he got. But uh, yeah, I mean, if I'm listing, if my listing price, if you're not willing to pay my listing price, you know, I'm open to negotiate. But don't be upset when someone else buys it for the actual price that I put. Here's um a crafting level. You actually get a little bit of crafting XP for stringing these amulets, which I'm doing as you saw in my previous video. So I am getting a few crafting levels for it, which is kind of nice. There's another whip. Yeah, whip number eight. Um, always just such a pleasure getting these whip chops, and this is when they were worth quite a lot, 1.7 mil. So just it just adds up really fast when you get these whip chops. There's 96 magic, which allows you to use the spellbook swap. Um spell I think that's the highest level spell in the entire game very useful because you know if you want to teleport somewhere or use if you want to be on lunars and just use another spell um, really helpful I mean it does use runes and you can only use one cast of that spell but you know it's just always kinda nice to have here's a really newbie outfit that I kinda like it's just the mud battle staff which you need for um, string the amulet and just the uh, gas mask. It just looks so like newbie, and I love that. The gas mask is one of the better looking hats in the game. Here's uh, some free to play Pekang. I actually have a. Uh, I'm planning to make a free to play Pekang video because when free to play Pekang, Pekang came out, I got. I went and I got like a ton of kills with the Rune 2H. I got like 8 kills or something on video, and uh, I definitely should use those clips in a Pekang video. But um, free to play Pekang is something I'm very familiar with. I used to do it back in actual, you know, 06, 07, uh, tons. So it's kind of like my comfort zone, whereas um, with Pekang, especially in this kind of old style of RuneScape. So I don't know, it's something always fun. Um, you Generally, people do want to do no armor fights just because if you wear full rune and a kite shield, it's just going to be zeros back and forth, basically. But, you know, I don't mind full armor fights. Here's 97 magic. This is my current level, although I've gotten a little bit closer to 98. Um, just slowly go, getting there, you know, I'll log on, I'll do like 500 amulets. Um, XP rate is very good, and it's nice and AFK, so, you know, slowly, I'm, I have 99 mage bank, so I'm slowly working my way there. Here's 64 crafting. Like I said, you do get some crafting levels from this, although I don't think I'll get 75, which is what I need for uh, Slayer Rings. There's a 91 Slayer after a lot of Slayer. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get anything special for 91 or 92 Slayer. You have to get 93, and then you get a uh, Smoke Devils. But 91 still a nice little accomplishment. There's a huge spec from the Dragon Halberd. Uh, like I said, the Slayer Helm does now provide an, a damage boost, so you can get these crazy hits. I hit an 109. If you add those hits up, I hit an 109. That's way higher than the AGS would hit. That's just crazy. I can't believe that I could hit that high. And that was not even in max strength gear. If you look at my gear there, I had um I didn't have a torso, I didn't have a tass pair of tassets, and I didn't have a strength amulet, which could have been eight strength bonus more, which could have been like a one hundred and fifteen or so. Just rough guess there. Um yeah, so that that's just insane. I could have one hit that blood belt almost. There's a uh, a nuclear reward actually. I just got this. I was doing a Dagonos task, and I got a medium clue scroll, and uh, I got the gold headband. And it's only worth about 500k. And I really, I mean, the prices are kind of debatable because I mean these are just new items, so you know it's up to you what they want to be worth. But uh, I thought it was really cool that I got this. It seems like everyone's getting good clue rewards now, but um, maybe just there's so many new clue rewards that you're bound to get one of them. But who knows, maybe I just got lucky, but yeah. Gold handband, kind of cool. Although, because my character in-game is blonde, um, when, I, when you wear it, it looks like I'm not even wearing it. So, oh well, maybe I'll sell it, who knows. This is kind of a funny story. I was doing a clue scroll, a level 3, and I had to go to the wilderness. And I'm going past the part with all, like kind of south of the, um, the high-level wilderness gate at like 45 wilderness or so. And I see two white dots. Actually, I, I thought I only saw one white dot. So I logged out really quick. 
And then I'm like, wait a minute, what if that's just some noob doing a clue scroll? I got a DDS, I could probably just spec him out for whatever he's got. And this has happened a few times where I'm out doing a clue, and they'll just be like a level 100 running around or something, and I'll just whip out the DDS and spec him out and get like 100k loot. So I actually logged back in, and turns out it was actually two people. It was one guy doing a clue like I had suspected, and another guy level 126 killing the guy doing the clue. And so when I log in, the guy doing the clue died, and so naturally the other guy killing him turned on me. And I had like 10 lobsters, two brews, and a few super restores, and uh, my clue on me, which of course I didn't want to lose. Also, I had my coordinates gear, so I didn't want to um, lose that. I had to go to the Rune Rocks. But so I had no run energy, so I actually started walking towards the gate, and it's a long walk to the um, lever, rather. And um, I made it, but I only made it with one HP, and if you look closely, I'm poisoned. So I was... I went through the lever and I'm spam clicking log out because there's no way I can make it to the bank while I'm poisoned. But a lot of people don't know that if you log out and log back in, it actually resets the poison timer. So you could just log in, move 10 spaces, then re-log, and the poison will never hurt you. So you could actually just do that all the way to the bank. So I was trying to log out but to no avail. But I and I did die and the guy looted my, you know, 5k worth of stuff. But I went back and I picked up my untradeable stuff. I tr picked up my sextant, watch, chart, and the clue scroll. So I was kind of glad that I actually managed to run back and get all that stuff. If you die in the high level wild with untradeables, they're converted to coins. So I wouldn't have been able, been able to do that if I didn't make it back to the lever. Then I went, I got a uh, spiritual warriors task, which a lot of people do block, but I keep them because they're good for clues. And uh, I, I did them did the task in the um, wilderness dungeon, and I got an ecumenical key. I got a ton of drops. I got a I got a bunch of rune kite shields, halberds, long swords. So like, their drops are actually decent if you're gonna have decent luck. And if you're on um, regular magics, you can alk for alk them for quite a bit. And I was able to get. I had no ecumenical keys. I got all three of them back. So that was kind of nice. Here's another Zamrak page. Unfortunately, this is only worth. 250k or so now. I might even just keep it because eventually they're, they're going to go back up because the demand for them is quite low right now. Here is a rune plate buddy gold. Um, not worth a lot really honestly just just like 100k or so so I'm probably just going to keep it but uh, yeah it's kind of disappointing that's not worth much. And I'm going to leave you guys a on a cliffhanger. I mentioned I got a very good drop from Zamrak um, earlier in the video and I'm going to leave that secret. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, definitely give me a like and comment. It took a while to crop all these pictures, so I'd really appreciate it. And also feel free to join my clan chat, Andrew AJT62, same as my YouTube name. And also fee please feel free to follow me on Twitter, at Andrew AJT62, and on Twitch below with the uh, links in the description. And I will see you guys next video. Also, if you have any video suggestions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. See you guys later.